Hello, and welcome to, uh, to Rocks, this television program. Welcome to Rocks, and uh, what's more, welcome to Indiana, the Hoosier State. Come on down and stay a while. Make yourself at home. Put your feet up. You're watching TV. Um, I'm your bartender. My name is Jay, and uh, I'm putting on my tie. Um, I'm in a hurry here, actually, because, well, we're running late. We're going to a Colts game today. And uh, I, in fact, am uh, B, your editor. I'll be editing this television show from beginning to end. So if you don't like anything that you see, just blame me. It's, it's all my fault. So yeah, we're heading to the Hoosier Dome for a, a Colts game. Dome. It's, it's not oh, the shit. Dome anymore. We keep slipping yeah. like that. Yeah, sorry, it's the RCA Dome now. We're heading on up there for a Colts game um, in this very car. And uh, But before we get there, we're going to have to show you some other video because otherwise you'll just be in the car for all this time with us dumb, boring Hoosier f***s. Uh, hello, and welcome to Rocks. This is a weekly cable access television show. Uh, we produce it, the two of us here. I'm Jay, I'm the bartender and driver right now. And uh, I'm B, I'm the editor. And uh, we make this show here in Bloomington, Indiana. But actually, we're on the road right now. We've just left Bloomington, Indiana, and we're headed up to the state capital. Uh, Indianapolis. Indianapolis, yeah. I think, is what it's called. Yes, yes, Indiana. Indiana, of course, is known as the, the Hoosier State. That's kind of the state nickname. And although no one really knows what a Hoosier is exactly, except that it's somebody from Indiana. Anyway, uh, up in Indianapolis there, they got a big football arena called the Hoosier Dome. Or it used to be called the Hoosier Dome, but just recently they renamed it the RCA Dome. Yeah, RCA, which is owned by Thompson Consumer Electronics, or maybe it's vice versa, but these folks, uh, these folks bought the name of the uh, the Hoosier Dome and changed it to the RCA Dome. Um, and uh, we kind of think that there's some questions that this raises, and uh, we're going to ask those questions to the people at the Colts game today. Why stick with this? Bumpkin char bumpkin esque charm, this bumpkin esque reputation that Indiana has. Yeah, and what the f is a Hoosier anyway? Yeah, when we can be sleek, sharp, and in the 90s with the RCA dome. And as a matter of fact, we think that it's such a good idea, we should just take it one step or two steps further. Um, and why not rename Indiana the RCA state? And then um, we would we would symbolically come into the new age of uh, consumerism and capitalism, which is good for everyone, of course. Solid state, which of course is uh, re what replaced the old tube technology in televisions. Now a lot of people don't realize that there is a down-home Hoosier Indiana television connection here. Philo T. Farnsworth, the inventor of television, was a down-home Hoosier boy from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Can you believe it? And we're proud. And yeah. in order to indicate our Hoosier uh, RCA pride or whatever, um, old Jay here, the bartender, is going to mix a drink. So uh, I'm going to be mixing a drink, a drink here um, for uh, this television program. I'm going to be mixing a Philo T. Farnsworth float. The first thing you'll need for this is an Indiana mug because, of course, Philo, Philo T. Farnsworth was kind of a Hoosier. He, would, he lived about half his life in, in Fort Wayne. But you'll notice that this is a backwards Indiana state here. That's because, uh, actually, he was, he was uh, not born and bred here. He just kind of lived in Fort Wayne for some time. But anyway, he actually invented television when he was 14 years old plowing his, his parents' f uh, potato field in Idaho, believe it or not. This is all true, by the way. You can look to us for true factual information. So add about uh, two ounces of, uh, of this vodka. Now, the reason for that, of course, is because uh, 
it took a long time for him to think up this uh, this television idea. They had to plow a lot of potatoes, so uh, add some of that. Then, of course, the next thing that uh, that he did was he had to file for a patent, add some paperwork, um, rip it up a little bit because uh, this is what you should always do with paperwork, if, and just add some of that in there. Um, uh, to symbolize the patent paperwork that the boy had to go through. He filed for the patent when he was 20 years old. So, that, you know, th this guy invented television 20 years old. Well, they had the idea when he was 14. F I mean, this is great. Later the same year, he actually did uh, the first test of television um, uh, in San Francisco. So we're, we're going to add some original California brand root beer schnapps. Now, you'll notice that this was actually made in Lewiston, Maine. That's because uh, Philo T. Farnsworth actually spent part of his life in Maine. True factual information here. So actually, when, when Philo T. Farnsworth was 21, he did his first test of television in San Francisco. Um, and, uh, and we actually have a special reproduction of uh, the very first television transmission ever. September 7th, 1927. Yes, look, we're experiencing it now. It's, it's just a straight line. Well, yeah, it's just a straight line. I mean, it, it was a one-dimensional uh, uh, transmission. That was all he was able to, to muster. Now, you can obviously see how far things have come because, I yeah. mean, look at us. Full two-dimensional Yeah, XY full axis. frontal televisual um, stupidity here. Um, thanks to this guy, Philo T. Farnsworth. But then the RCA Corporation came into the, into the story. RCA. They, of course, had all the patents on radios. Um, they'd never paid a patent licensing fee in their entire lives, and they wanted television. And, uh, and so they litigated against this guy. They, uh, they tried to say that they had their own patent on television. They tried everything they could um, to, uh, to rip off Philo T. Farnsworth's idea so that they could own it themselves. And so we want to add some RC Cola. Um, to this drink. Um, so add about uh, that much, that's about uh, three or four ounces. Because of course RCA, RCA is a big corporation and uh, even though Philo T. Farnsworth spent all this time inventing television, they tried to overpower him with their sweet, sticky, gooey, dark ness So of course the last thing that we're going to add here is, uh, is some, some diced up onions. And the reason is simple. In 1939 RCA Vice President Otto Scherer, with tears in his eyes, was forced to add some diced onions to his drink. No, wait, no. He, oh, he was forced to sign a patent licensing fee uh, agreement with, uh, with Philo T. Farnsworth, the first one that RCA ever had to sign. He had tears in his eyes when he did it because he was so upset about having to sign over money to somebody else. It's a Be true fact. It's a true fact. Truth, reality, no fiction around here because, of course, this is rocks. <laughs> it's a sad, sad tale. Um, it was a little difficult, but we finally found a place to park here in Indianapolis. As you can see, we're, we're parked here in this kind of, it's a bay. Roberts of Distributors, receiving. Yeah. Now there's some guy who took ten dollars from us and told us we could park here. Um, we'll see after the game if the car is well, still here. But in the meantime, got we're going to uh, celebrate our arrival here in Indianapolis with this. This is a Dusseldorfer Amber Ale, which is uh, made by the Indianapolis Brewing Company. Yes, it's a fine beverage, a fine beer. That's why uh, why we're drinking it and not someone else. Enjoying a couple cold ones before the game because you know. It's expensive to drink in the RCA dump. Yeah. Well, football, you know, football is really just a, a peripheral issue here. We all know what uh, these big sports festivities about are about. Drinking beer. Yeah. It's cold out here, and um, we better slam these beers and get on into that RCA dump. This. Now this is obviously a fan. Oh, you think? Yeah, yeah. I'd say this person is is all into it. Actually, actually look at this. W oh, it's it's nothing but a cheap marketing ploy for some fucking radio station. We haven't mentioned that uh, this is a game between um, the Colts and uh, the Dolphins. I think um, it's in about uh, mid December here, and uh, we were going to interview some people out here going into the game, but uh, it's too cold. Yeah. So uh, we're just going to go in there 
and have a couple of beers and then talk to people. It's the RCA dome. Did you see the logo? The conspicuously placed logo up there? It, uh, it's really a beautiful sight to behold. But I'm freezing, as I mentioned, and I'm going inside. So you may be wondering how we got press passes to this game. Well, the truth of the matter is I called and I asked. <laughs> you have to call the Indianapolis Colts office and talk to their uh, media person. And uh, just, you know, the, I had to send them a letter saying why we, we uh, need these press passes. But we got free passes to the game. So, uh, can you believe tip. it? We're yes, baby! Yes. I'll tell you the whole thing. The whole Fuck thing is, call. I got a buddy that works for Motorola. The Rams just bought $200,000 worth of equipment awesome. from Motorola at the St. Louis department. We're getting it. Wow. What the f were they talking about? I don't even know, man. Here we go. Wow, there's a lot of small print on this uh, this press pass here. This working credential is issued to an organization for the sole purpose of providing stadium access to an accredited individual has, who has a legi legitimate working function, media or game service, in connection with this game. Okay, so uh, obviously because I have a press pass, I have a legitimate function for being here. It says stands access only, what? but use and location, no, no press box access, 105. We don't actually even have seat numbers. We don't have seats. Standing room only for us. What? Yeah. Let's go on in here and see what's going on. Wow, so you can watch it on television and experience it all at once. Quite a thing. some important questions to ask so like where's the bar yeah <laughs> so we're gonna do that right now I guess the quest has begun we're gonna go find some beer here and uh, and oh look they have a full bar over here Wow goodness gracious oh but you don't have J&B scotch no, we got <laughs> oh wow Goodness gracious. Well, I'm Jay and he's B, and so I guess we can't, you know, get anything to drink. So we'll go get beer. Thanks. So, hello, I'd like some beer, please. Um, what kind do you have? Miller. Miller. Miller or Miller? Miller. Um, I'll have Miller. Good <laughs> Miller. choice. Is that $4 for both? No, I need another $4. Okay. There you have it. Thanks. Sure. Only $4 for a cup of beer. Cold beer, $4. What a ripoff! So here we are at the RCA Dome in Indianapolis. A lot of people here. I guess they came to see the football game. 
Um, I've been trying to follow what's going on here, but I'm not really sure. Defense, defense. Defense. It's a two-syllable word. Look at that. Some guy out there holding towels. What? See him? Wow, what a cushy job. Yeah, really. Anybody I I need a towel? I could do that. So yeah, you know, the ancient Romans had their bread in circuses. We prefer beer in circuses. Um, because this is beer. And around you, it's a circus. I mean, around me. But if this isn't a circus, I'd like to know what is. Can you believe this? A giant arena full of hundreds, nay, thousands of people, and they're all getting drunk. I mean, where else but in America? What a country! Hooray for beer! Hooray for the RCA Dome! And congratulations to RCA. Unafraid to take a public stance for drunkenness and wanton violence on television. Yes. I'm getting pumped up and I've been stimulated, perhaps overstimulated. Uh, I may be losing coherency, I may be losing touch with reality. I'll leave that up to you. What's happening here? There's some people, they've got a ball, they're hitting each other. That looks like it probably hurt somebody really bad. Yeah, the guy's just like lying there on the field. Um, the referee now has the football. Ain't worth the We need a new punter. What's this guy's average? 35 yards a punt, they run it back for a touchdown. Well, now you obviously know a little bit more about football than I do. See, I'm a complete ignoramus when it comes to football. So what are you doing announcing the game? Um, well, it's <laughs> a pure foolhardiness. So what are we on here? Okay, something important is happening now. Everybody's cheering. The crowd's going wild. The humanity. Good God, they're throwing the ball. Everybody's standing up. It's madness. Sheer madness here at the RCA Dome. What happened? Denied. Look, it's been denied. Oh, my God. People are cheering again. Hooray. Hooray, RCA. RCA! 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 We're definitely on the edge here. Did you come all the way from Miami? No, St. Louis. Oh, okay. Look at all the people who are walking by here. They're amazed. They can't believe that we're videotaping in here because they've tried to bring their video cameras in. Guys, guys. And they're not allowed. This is the aisle right here. We gotta get down. Okay, all right. right. We have been shooed on by the man himself. Some ID for that beautiful beer, please. What's that? Some ID. We're being ID'd for the beer now. I'm getting out my identification. It's an Indiana driver's license. Oh. Uh, we're being indicated that we should not videotape at this point. It's a sad day for us. Thank you, sir, or sorry to offend you uh, in any way, of course. I apologize. I was carried away in a vagary of youthful enthusiasm. Must be what it's all about. This is a this is a, a demonstration of the RCA um, setup that you can get for your home stereo system. The RCA digital satellite system raises your viewing experience to a whole new level. Nipper and Chipper urge you to ask your salesperson for a full demonstration of the RCA digital satellite system. Wow, this could almost, in some sense, appear to be some kind of an endorsement of RCA. I find this rather disgusting. Am I anti-business? Oh my God, I must be an a Okay, so apparently it's halftime here at the, uh, the Colts game, and we're gonna go outside and ask the smokers, the people who have been pitched out into the cold, what they think of this name change, the RCA Dome. The RCA Dome is a smoke-free facility. So you probably know that they renamed this thing recently, the, the RCA Dome. The RCA Dome, yeah. What do you think of that? It's a sellout. You think so? It's, it's a sellout sell tonight. Sell out but... for $10 million, but you can't blame them. <laughs> Why I like not? the Hoosier Dome. You like the name? I like the Hoosier Dome. Yeah. yeah. So uh, did you know that they sold the name of this place to RCA, so it's now the RCA Dome? Yeah, no, no, we get a whole bottle, a lot of extra commercials now. Well, I think it's a little bit loud and uh, overbearing. 
Well, they sold the name for $10 million to RCA. Now, what do you think of that? RCA is making some big money as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever remember to say RCA Dome. It's the Hoosier Dome probably always will be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the RCA problem doesn't bother me as much as long as it's, I can go out there and freeze and smoke yeah. a cigarette. Yeah. So what do you think it says about our culture that they changed the name? Money. Everything money. revolves around money. The buyout, yeah. That's all it amounts to is money. Yep. Anything that we make a buck. Anything that make a buck, you know? Uh -huh. Hey, they got the money, I guess. Yeah. They got more than the little guy does. You got the money. You got the money. We're surrounded by it, you know, business, business, business. We, yeah. we have to deal with it every day, you know, in our workplaces. and mm -hmm. yeah. It's what makes the world go round. So actually, so they, they should not be the Indianapolis or Indiana Hoosiers anymore. They should be the Indianapolis RCAs. Yeah, yeah right, right. Exactly. So what would you think if, uh, if the governor sold the name of this state and uh, it, it became the RCA state? I don't live here, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't really care. It's a land of taxes anyway. It's a Hoosier state. Yep. But what But what if they sold the motto and changed it to RCA state? I guess I'd have to move. That'd be out of hand. <laughs> it really would. I would be very opposed to that. <laughs> very opposed. Oh, we're becoming so commercial, we're taking all the personal aspect out of so many things, and I'm, I'm just against that. <laughs> It'd be, it would be like changing us, St. Louis, to the Anheuser-Busch state. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys like, um, with, uh, who are you with? Uh, what kind of bullshit is this? Are you guys just doing this for your own thing? So what this for? Are you guys, you guys work for college? Is that a camera? Yeah, it's, it's a, a good Stop! Thank you for inviting me to your town. Indianapolis is really nice. In St. Louis, a Hoosier is considered like, you know, the yeah, well, dirt of the state streets. Oh, can I say on camera? Yeah. Are you guys foreign exchange students? Because your foreheads are so big. <laughs> Let me ask you a serious question here. They renamed this place the Ho the RCA Dome. Yeah. Now, what do you think of that? They sold the name. I think David Letterman's name should be on this dome because I like David Letterman, and I don't care who's paying him, whether it's RCA or... I think it should be... Edit that and cut it and rewind it. Because our city was named after a French town. You guys were named after a horse. Uh, the wacky antics that take place in the smoking section. It's the honeys. Hey, are you the, uh, you're the mascot. So, uh, so let me, let me ask you a question. What if you were told that you had to wear a television on your head in honor of the RCA Dome rather than this football helmet? Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's a horse. It can't talk. St. Louis, everybody we meet is from St. Louis. St. Everybody? So you know they sold the name of this place. It used to be the Hoosier Dome and now it's the RCA Dome. I think that's pretty cool. I guess they're making money off it. I don't know. St. Louis, now why is it? Why is everybody here from St. Louis? No one, not everyone, just uh, half of the people. Half of the people. Here you go, you put this on your camera. Put on. Where are you camera? St. Louis camera, right there. St. Louis police? There you go. Yeah. What would you think if they if they like changed the name of the IU basketball team to the the Ho Herring Televisions or something? <laughs> I'd be I'd be upset. I'd be upset. I was I was disappointed they changed the name here. I was. What do you think about them changing the name of this place from the Hoosier Dome to the RCA Dome? Oh, I don't know nothing about that. I'm I'm Kentucky all the way. Yeah. But I come over here to chart, uh, make sure to coach winning. Yeah. What if Brereton Jones sold the name of the IU, the Kentucky Wildcats uh, to like uh, RCA and they became the uh, Kentucky RCAs? RCAs? That'd be all right. I mean, the cats rule. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Cats rule. Smoke marijuana. That's what y'all about, eh? Yep. Mar <laughs> That's what it's all about is yeah. marijuana. Now it's all becoming more clear. That's right. <laughs> marijuana rules. Put it down. Legalize marijuana. Should have kept the Hoosier Dome, right? If I was an Indiana guy, I'd be mad about it. Yeah. yeah.
goodness gracious me, they're down here near the what, what I know to be the end zone. Um, so something apparently is happening as we speak. Colts 10, Dolphins 6. The Colts are ahead now. Uh, it appears that they're, me they're measuring and, oh yes, they're as you can hear, the crowd is excited because uh, they're short by just a couple of inches of a first down. And so, what is it? Oh, it's fourth down and, and goal to go, or, or not goal to go, a couple of inches to go, actually. What, what is this fourth down sh Well, it means that the, it's their last chance to, uh, to get to where that um, orange uh, stick up thing is. Um, that the guys carrying off? Yeah, that the guys are carrying off there. are still winning here it's the fourth quarter and uh and it's there's only about two and a half minutes left here in the game um and uh as you can see the cheerleaders are on the television right now doing uh what they do best um and i'm here on the television doing what i do best which is blather on about meaningless bull looks like indianapolis stamped those dolphins right in the tail fin people are cheering again everybody's happy Except for me. Why am I in such a sulky, perverse, bad mood, you may ask? Well, it's just because I think it's sick what's happened here at the RCA Dome, formerly the Hoosier Dome. You see, I think that we've sold our souls, is what's happened. No longer the Hoosier State, now it's the RCA State. Everything being replaced by commercial acronyms and initials. Everything's an advertisement. Everything's a sales pitch. I don't like the way it's headed. Like that guy from uh, Kentucky or Illinois or whatever said. If it happened in his state, he'd be off about it. But it happened here in Indiana. And this is only the first step. Before you know it, everything that you see will be owned by somebody else even your own brain. So watch out, people, because corporate America is coming for you. Actually, it probably already has you. Hail to the almighty dollar, and it doesn't take a white collar scholar to follow this. No, I think we all know the people with the dough control the whole show to go, go, you're the cream of the crop. Why should you stop? You rise to the top. Let it trickle down to the rest of the nation. Thank God for the fascist. Right. So that television series, the television show that you've just been watching actually uh, is just one episode in a whole series that we've been producing since 1992, actually. Rocks is the name of the show. If you hated the television show, or if you really liked it, or if you were just confused by it, well, you might be intrigued to learn that uh, there's actually a whole lot more on our website, which is rocks.com. That's uh, rox.com. So uh, actually, if you go there, you'll find that there's a whole archive of videos from a lot of our past episodes, hours and hours of material, actually, and uh, a complete episode guide with uh, you know thousands of pictures and all indexes of all the people and places and ideas and mixed drinks that we have uh, featured in the show over the years. So check it out. Tell us what you think. Get in touch with us. Drop us a line electronically or through the mail and uh, you'll find all that information uh, on the website. Maybe, in fact, you'll even get involved in the production of the show. So if you look on our website, you'll find our wish list of content that we're looking for. So anyway, um, check it out. Let us know what you think. And um, hopefully uh, you'll tune in again next week and see us in the same time slot here on Free Speech Television. Yeah, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the corporate empire of America and to the elitist oligarchy for which it stands. One nation under a crackpot of cult spoon.